Hi, thanks so much for tuning back in with us. I'm Laura Wasson. We're here with the lovely Samantha Sleeper. So excited to have you back. We are going to be back again at 3.30 with Angela Barrow from Cheeky. Lots of cool stuff coming up. Right now, we're gonna talk about clutches. Clearly, we have a whole mass of them. They're beautiful, they're all lace. If you have a question for Samantha, tweet us right now at Closetista TV. I have my computer over here off screen conveniently, and we're going to be checking throughout the program. And we'll ask her some questions if we get any good ones. So, I guess the first thing to start with is clearly, this is a lot of lace. Where does this lace come from? How do you find this? Well, tell us about it. So the lace all comes from Solstice in France. Mm -hmm. It's one of the oldest French companies, and um, they make lever lace in Caudry. And I had the pleasure of visiting them two years ago over the summer. Oh, wow. And seeing the artisans and the way that they actually create it really made me fall in love with the whole mm -hmm. process and the final product. And I'm not alone. Their clients include um, Chanel, Givenchy, YSL, Celine. Everyone. Everybody. Just because the nature of the product is so beautiful, so delicate, mm -hmm. and it's always so intricate. So um, what I started to do is like, how can you incorporate this into a product that you need to use every day? Right. And I'm the kind of girl who always has my bag, and then I have my makeup case, mm -hmm. and then I have my little bag, and then other things just sort of floating around. And when I go out at night, mm -hmm. I don't necessarily want to be carrying luggage. No. No. Nobody it's really wants to be having luggage with them. So I started thinking, what's missing? Mm -hmm. What's another option I could do? And how can I make sure that when I do the ready to wear of my garments and like the luxury laces and the dresses that I don't just waste the remnants and the pieces right. that are left over. So I really came up with this idea of just doing a really clean clutch. And the fun part being that they're all one of a kind. Right. That I could use it and have multiple different variations and that it would always be a really special item, something really special to have. Right. Um, so I went out and I started doing these small ones, and they're amazing. The insides are some more dyed, so they're all having variations, and they have them in magnetic snap closures mm -hmm. and different finishes. It's sometimes like metal. It's one yeah. of my favorites. I love this one too. <laughs> yeah. um, and then just a, like a duck lining, so mm -hmm. that if something did spill, um, you're kind of protected in a way yeah. that it's not, you know, as fragile as you know the lace would. Like you think it is. Right. Then I took it the next step further when I gave it to my mom, and um, she's like a busy working woman, mm -hmm. like most of us are. And she had her iPad, and she really needed something to fit it. And she had this just generic iPad covering Boy. case, and it had nothing to do, speak to like her personality or fun, like how fun it could be. So um, the next thing I thought of was, why not make it the size of an iPad case? Ingenious. Yes. So this is a leather one. It's actually from our spring summer collection, but it's available for um, an exclusive to Closet Easter yes, at the it's moment. So it's so pretty. It. It's lambskin and uh, it's again paneled just so we don't waste anything because right. Smith and Super so brand smart. is eco conscious and eco friendly. We don't want to make. We want to just make sure we're using as much of every piece mm -hmm. of fabric as possible. And. Voila! Yeah, <laughs> so it does um, also fit into some of the other ones, like Coco, one of my favorites. It's a yes. Chanel lace. Uh, it's from Solstice, corded. And it's just like a nice option to have where you can just sort of like put your iPad in it mm -hmm. and close it on up. And how chic is that? It's so chic. So you can fit your business cards, your metro cards, and just like a nice different option if you're running around the city. Or you want to totally. go to a dinner party and you want to stay connected or show your portfolio. It's just a lovely option to have for like the girl on the go. And it comes in so many color variations. Yes. And again, one of the best things is there's no two that are the same. Right. Which means that every single one is one of a kind, and every single one is completely <laughs> exclusive, very, very pretty, and very, very cool. So, obviously, there's so many different kinds of lace, and I have to point out this one. This is the kiss of the spider woman That's clutch. My it's my favorite. <laughs> Can't you tell? It's so beautiful, and you can see it in the product shots that we have, and you can shop all of this stuff right now. But there's this beautiful floral and spiderweb lace pattern. I've never seen anything like this. And tell us about this lace because it's super, super special. Um, I'm pretty sure that this in the, this colorway was uh, from a Givenchy follow uh, previous collection. And it's another reason I love it as well is that it has this sort of like macabre sense of design where mm -hmm. you've got a floral, something that connotates life, and then a spiderweb, something that we connotate with like scary darkness yes. and haunted houses. Um, and I also just love the pop color. Yeah, that neon color. orange really 
just sort of like brightens everything up and it also makes it kind of seasonless. You can wear it spring, right. summer or fall, winter, you know, with your neutrals. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it is also one of my favorites. It's a lever lace. It's uh, just really fine and delicate and then it's got that really fair moray background. So when you say a lever lace, can you tell us exactly what that is yeah. and how that goes? And I should mention before we go any further, all the bags are 160, but we have a very special code for our viewers. It is SLEEP40. When you shop with that code, you get a $40 discount, $40. which is pretty good because, I mean, this is all beautiful. It's not just take bag place. out for drinks for the evening. Exactly. Which you always have to do when you get a really special. Exactly. Well, and like, how, when are you going to get a piece of Givenchy incredible lace for $120? You're not. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> but back to lever lace. Yeah. Tell us what that term means. I'm not familiar with lace myself. So okay. what, is, what does that mean? How well, does that Whatever work? products are made, whatever like textiles, lace, uh, jacquards, they're all made on different types of machines. Mm -hmm. A lever lace is just it's an older loom from the 1700s, and it's the way that Solstice manufactures its product, which is okay. true to how they've done it from the beginning. It's these huge wooden and iron um, machines. They're based in Quadri and it takes them a day to two days for three people to thread it to switch the pattern over. Wow. Yeah. That's a long time. After the lace is done off the levers, it's taken to a group of women who will cord it by hand or beat it mm -hmm. or take it to the next step and then they go along, finish it, and just sort of make sure that everything about it is perfect. And it's an incredible process and I love working with artisans. Solstice right. is a company that also works with artisans. It's an art form mm -hmm. making lace. And um, I'm really proud and excited to be able to have the opportunity to work with them and sort of bring this type of material with these kinds of qualities, you know, to New York and right, exactly. to the United States. It's really exceptional. And so all the lace, obviously, you can just see, and this is a small sampling of all the different kinds of laces that they mm -hmm. do. How do you find lace that you like? Because these are all remnants. Right. How do you know, well, I really like this, or I'm not so much into that. What are you looking for? I mean, for me, it's always a texture question. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm drawn to texture and color. And so when I see things that sort of have a mix of textures, such as um, this one, which I love, it oh, sort of reminds so me of a snake skin yes. or a giraffe, but it has this Siberian winter feel to it. Um, I love the fact that you've got really delicate, then the overlay of the back stitching, and then a cording on top of it. Yes. Um, and also, it's the graphic patterns. When I think of French icon, or when I think of lace, I usually, um, the connotation is something really more traditional. traditional. And occasionally, you know, it's like I find something like this, which is just so lovely that it works for me. Yes. But overall, I'm usually drawn to the more graphic patterns. Right. Things that seem like you have the older version of it, but this just naturally feels more modern because of the boldness yes. and the line quality and the sort of aggressiveness of the floral repeat. Right. You know, every, every pattern has its own story and its own life form. Um, this one, again, seems to be a floral, but it's... It's a different Approach floral, so different. yeah. You know, they've got the Lurex and then the matte blending and the thread quality, and uh, I think that's also just another really special addition to add into your products. Right. You know, and, and for me, that's really what I'm looking for. I'm, what's different about this? What's new? How can we make it exciting? And for some of the more traditional ones, like even this gold floral, mm -hmm. you know, these are the ones I really love to dye the background of. Yes, tell us about something. that. Um, I dyed the moiré and I used uh, dyes just made at home, so different types of natural dyeing, and it's, it's so silk. pretty. And it creates this really beautiful uh, discrepancies of color between it. And when you put it behind some of the laces, this is I think one of the better examples of it. Is like it just adds another quality of dimension, another color mm -hmm. dimension to the product. So you have the blues and the purples, and then it just really kind of sets a mood for the rest of the bag and it's something, you know, as pretty as a base is, right. this just gives you a completely different unexpected option. It really does. It completely changes the way something can look. Yeah. Um, I think this, obviously, I love this one. It's so, so vampy. It's, it's so, so vampire. Vampy. So ready for the holidays. Uh, so ready for the holidays. It's, it's a red tool lace on a black base with the, uh, actually, it's a very citrusy, yellow 
That's over. Oh, you too. I didn't even notice that. I assumed yeah. it was gold because from far away it does look gold. But when you yeah. get right up close, it has it the is. gold setting around the outside of the shape. That's it's so like another, cool. Another element of it is like you're always being surprised and finding new yes. elements to the pattern that makes it really special and different. And all these patterns are so intricate, which is really so wonderful. This one is gorgeous. It's all these little tiny, tiny dots. Just beautiful and it it doesn't it's lace but it doesn't feel lacy in a way yeah it just is like is nice an embellishment and that's sort of how i think about it it's like how can you take this product to the next level how can you take your accessories and make them a little bit more fun or special how can it be something that you just throw in your bag or out of your bag mm -hmm. and it always sort of has its own personality and that's like in the materials i believe i think it's in finding Absolutely. something that's not um as delicate as beading something that's easy to sort of take with you and you know lace is just to me something I have a love affair with mm -hmm. as, as far as a product goes and it's a beautiful art form on its own and I'm thinking it's making a really strong comeback. It is. I mean, you look at the runways, it's covered in lace. Colored Colored in lace. Lana did that entire collection that was mm -hmm. just white lace. And as beautiful as wearing a completely lace outfit is, I think, that's not really realistic for most women right. in, in your life. And this is a great, easy way to do something with lace and not feel intimidated by yeah. it or think that it's overly girly or too feminine Absolutely. or anything like that. And especially the snakeskin bag, I feel, is so modern. It doesn't, this one doesn't feel like lace at all. No. It's just, it's really this more is, like a printer it's pattern. It's really one of my favorites because I feel like I can bring it to brunch. I can wear it with jeans. I can, you know, throw it in my bag. I can wear it out at night. And that's sort of what I want. I want my accessories to be as versatile as my life is right you know and, and that's sort of what I want to approach it is I don't want anything that's only for special occasions right. or you know something that I can't take out at night and this is you know these are really like beautiful options and they make great gifts and you can use them for so many different parts of your life it's just another mm -hmm. sort of organizing thing it's like an envelope like it really is oversized envelope. envelope for your life you know and uh, I like that I like having like special moments throughout, you know, throughout the way, so it's not just precious. bottom of my bag, not too precious. precious, yeah, which I think is good. I do want to get into the fact that you are an apparel designer. I am an apparel designer. And we, we haven't even talked about that, but that is what you do on, yes. for your job and for your livelihood. Tell us about that and how you see this. This is actually a dress yeah, of Samantha that summer. she's wearing. It's so beautiful. Thank you. How do you, how do you approach your collection? How do you see the lace spinning in and... And all um, that stuff. Well, thank you. That's a really good question. And I uh, had the pleasure of going to Parsons School of Design and graduated from there. I now I'm teaching there as well. And it helped me sort of cultivate my point of view as a designer and my mm -hmm. voice. And I'm really inspired across the board consistently from Bauhaus movements and sort of clean utility design. Hence, I think the shape of all of these are very clean. Yes. The, the practicality of it is very utility oriented. Uh, and then I love artists and color and life experiences and so I think my collections evolve with the general zeitgeist and the mood that I'm surrounded mm -hmm. in and this season we were really inspired by Rothko and Jasper Johns mm -hmm. and sort of nostalgic idyllic idyllic <laughs> American summer so the color palette was very red white and blue and mm -hmm. during that time I actually think it transferred into these ones which were the spring summer starts where you have these very nautical American color palettes yes. and you know, and then once you get wrapped up in a collection, it's so intense and you're so focused on this one product that it's always nice when you're done with it to take a step back and have an opportunity to sort of do little one-of-a-kind moments mm -hmm. just to get you out of the, the whole, the whole picture. thing, the whole yeah. picture of what's been going on. And um, it's a pleasure to do what I do, and I love it. And uh, the Samantha Sleeper brand uh, officially launched with our Ready to Wear collection this past Fashion Week, mm -hmm. and it's been really great. We've had incredible response and so it's really exciting. the best thing so, to hear is yeah it's, it's I mean so great thank you it's, it's been it's been amazing so I'm um, just thrilled to see where it goes and where yeah. we can where we can take it in the future oh I know and we're so excited to have you on Closetista and with these amazing bags 
Again, all of them are one of a kind. You will not find these bags anywhere else. Truly, you won't. You will no. never find them anywhere else. You won't. <laughs> and again, our special promotion code is SLEEP40. You can use that at checkout, and that will get you 40% off the bags. It's a no-brainer. It's such an easy, beautiful piece. $40 off. $40 off. <laughs> I mean, it's oh like a dinner off. It's <laughs> awesome. Um, but thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you thank for you being for here having with me. us. It's been such a pleasure. I feel like I learned something about lace today. And we'll educational hour again. <laughs> yes, yes, it is educational hour. It's like fashion education, so it's fun. Um, we'll see you again at 3:30. And thank you so much. Thank you.